not going to get one uh, Three, for either two, of us right now at the very one. least. Instead, <laughs> both of these try, uh, both of these players trying to get into that gold as we've got Fiend on the gold uh, versus Loras on the Michonne. Definitely trying to add another gold to that table. Hey, look, look at the start, right? You get straight in there and you're already throwing SIGs off in the first three seconds of the match. Now that's, that's going to show me this is going to be an exciting game. And good movement from Fiend Lores. I mean, he's kind of been that surprise player, of course, like a longtime Koji main. And he's one of those players that like kind of got slept on, again, talking about MSI, talking about some other South American events. And every now and then, he'll just kind of burst out, do incredibly well. Mm-hmm. Lores, nice bow play. Ooh. I love to see the bow again. That was clean. Nice neutral light to keep the keep him at bay after whiffing the, the neutral signature. Yeah, I mean, like, that, that Ensig almost forced the movement from Fiend to go into that neutral light range. Oh, good movement from Lores. The oh. weapon toss. Fiend's in trouble, and Lores with the GCN, like, keeps it clean and simple to take the first stock. That punish was nice. Yeah, it went down there. You know, you could have lined up a ground pound or something like that. The gravity cancel neutral air. I mean, neutral light, that was so good. So good. Side nice. air connects for Fiend. Goes for another side air. Lores comes in. Neutral light, neutral air, neutral air. And Fiend picking up the stock. Gonna go back to the gauntlets. No. Oh, we're starving right now. <laughs> Took all the food off the shelves. Was really just trying to keep that from spawning. Lores still ends up picking up a spear, though. Nice job. Fighting back with the sword. <laughs> Pogo. That Pogo is just disrespectful every single time. <laughs> Look, you just see a character trying to go do something and just get sat down. Pogo. Just bounce right off the top of him. Does about 15 damage. Can be really nice, especially when you rack up a couple. But Loras racking up these side airs. Ooh, doesn't get the final one. All right. Got the gauntlets, and there you go. It makes sense because that sword kind of wasn't allowing that spear to play. Looking for a big opportunity, and Fiend can't find a touch. He's trying to get these, like, drive-by nares. Right? Like, dash jump, moving through nair, hoping he'll catch Lores. They're not hitting. Lores going to launch Fiend now. Still touches. Oh, what a punish. What a punish. Thought that Lores was going to kind of leak over a little bit and try to do that, uh, that press to the stage recovery. Nah, nothing doing. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think Loris kind of learned his lesson off the last stock, right? Like, he was, he struggled to get that KO with those side airs, so this time he played a little bit more patient, waited until Fiend committed, and then he went in with that side air. Fiend hits the side air. He'll keep this one close. That was good. That was good. Back to it, trying to create uh, a Marvin. I don't know who Marvin is, but they say he's starving. <laughs> starving like Marvin. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm talking about. All right, spinning around with that neutral air on the spear. The spear really has not gotten no, rolling no. yet. There we go. What a moment. I don't know if that was a reaction to the movement or just like the timing thing of I he's going to approach right now, you know? That was like it's such a like high noon situation, right? Like they're both <laughs> sitting there and suddenly they're like, all right, time to go in. Lores does launch Fiend, though, has the stage control. Fiend does touch down, but Lores is getting damaged. He's getting launches. Downlight recovery. Fiend gets disarmed. Downlight Ooh. recovery. Still wasn't enough. Lores is, like, creating a wall. It looks like downlight it looks recovery. like Fiend can't do anything. Fiend can't go where Fiend wants to go. The downlight recovery is closing that out smooth. The control from Lores is just a little too much. Not sure if Fiend will make a character swap here. The spear wasn't really working for him, and I don't even know if the gauntlets were either. Yeah, I, I don't know. It didn't look like either one were was really doing much. Looks like he's sticking with the uh, Rana Wushong for this one, at least. Yeah, okay. 607 damage, that is, man. That's a good game from Loris. I mean, and, and, and to say 607... Uh, Sparky was talking about how when your damage gets that high up, it means you're not yeah, getting efficient Yeah, it's technically KOs. inefficient because it's 202 per stock. Yeah, you would. Yeah, see, well, I want to say that, but those KOs look pretty efficient to me when you, when, you know, from the eye when you're looking. Yeah. The numbers say something different, but it looked clean. It didn't feel like he was struggling to finish off the stocks of Fiend at the very least. Perfect, Definitely had perfect. to get a little bit extra damage, but you know what? He did it in a normal amount of time. Exactly, exactly. Tried to go for the ground uh -oh. pound uh -oh. early on. You're dealing with this bow Still on the touches. side. The dodge was good. Fiend gets double exclamation points, but he gets back up safely. No big damage despite that offstage engagement. They were both kind of playing it smart, making sure that no one got any hits in. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. They both got a couple here hits here and there, but nobody really got, got the pummels. He's going to back away, switch over to the spear. 
Nice. nice. Ooh, put you in this situation for a pogo. Didn't land it, but I understood what you were going for. Yeah, tried to fake him out with that ground pound. Downlight side air gets a lot of stage control. He's priming a second spear. One pogo needs another. Hits it. Still got the wall touch. Laura is uh, going to survive. I was wanting to see it, man. Those, that's my favorite type of KOs. Those edge guards, the, the party's on the side of the stage. That stuff is fun. Actually, I'm lying. I definitely like the hammer KOs. <laughs> but <laughs> either way, a KO over the top with the recovery from the spear. Fiend taking the lead. Yeah, going for the juggles, throws away the spear this time, wants to play gauntlets for the second stocks. Nice, end light, dash in, down sick. He hit that in game one, hits it again here in game number two. Punish? Optimal. Ooh, definitely optimal. Nice, that was a good chase. Didn't press anything, hovered around, knew where you wanted to go. Fiend picked up the KO. Yeah, and that will even up the stock count between Fiend and Loras. Loras. Keeping the stage control. Fiend's been struggling a little bit on getting his footing, but he gets that side light, doesn't go for more. Mm, okay. Okay. Weapon toss. That could have turned into something. That could have turned pressure. into something. That's good. The recovery's gone. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it recovered whenever he okay. skidded off the side. Okay. Yeah. I mean, he did get disarmed, which is definitely really nice for Fiend. Doesn't hit the side sig. Hits the side air. Fiend with a big lead now. Looking nice, looking nice. So, trying to tie it up 1-1. Loris has the lead on the set, but Fiend, you know, over time, we start to see, like, the one that starts to win after the first game, that's the one that kind of is taking over sets. Ooh, oh, baby, oh, oh, get oh, out of oh. here. That was nice. Weapon toss Pogo looked like a – no, it wasn't true, obviously, because he tried to uh, recovery afterwards. Yeah. And so, so the stars come out. All the, star all the stars are closer, all the stars. Man. That was insane to me just because, like, he hit those two things and it just felt like Laura's tripped down the rest of the stairs. Like, he just, he had nothing there <laughs> and he just fallen. <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was good. All right, here we go. Back into it. No character swap. What stage did we go to? I did not quite see it. I think we're going to a tri platform map. Three, Enigma. Two, one for game number three. It's been a hot minute since I've seen an Enigma match. I agree, but I'm going to say this. In my experience uh, in, in viewing and playing, this is a this is a Wuxiang map. Yeah. The the SIGs to cover those platforms can be really nice. I think both of them have some things, right? Like Laura's, those end lights, those end SIGs can also be really, really good. Yeah, you can definitely end SIG with Bo onto those plats, all right? So it'll hit yeah. it'll hit through the platform. I mean, there, there's some stuff. I just think the the way that Wuxiang has to play and the, the, sig, the SIG pack and the weapons do really well just on this in general. Well, it might come down to player uh, skill on the map, as right now Laura's looking really good. His platform movement has been helping lead to a lot of extra damage to Tommy Matt, or I guess the uh, Michonne equivalent of it. Not going to work out for him just yet, though. Yeah, I was talking all that jazz while I was saying it was a Wuxiang map. He was definitely getting the beats. He's getting thrown all over the place and almost losing the first stock. Loris couldn't find the final touch. Whiffing a sig, turned around to a Sayer. Oh, oh man. Good movement to not oh. get KO'd. Oh, no. The Sayer could have did it. Missed the true combo. Ground pound still not enough to finish off. Is he going to go for another one? No, backs away this time. Giving some respect to Loris. That's two exclamation points. Doesn't hit the end sig. Sayer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's good stuff. All right. And what are we going for? Sticking spear. with the spear. I mean, Loris is spear. I mean, Finn, Fiend's spear is really, really good. So I completely understand this. Yeah. I mean, if, if he's known for a weapon, it's going to be that spear. It took him a little bit. Like, game one did not look like a strong spear game for Fiend, especially against Loris' sword. Yeah. But since then, he's been figuring it out. He's been getting hit after hit. Loris will clean up the stock, though, with that downlight recovery. Yeah. It's, it's, it's been a, it was a lot of gauntlets in that first game, for sure. But... But now we're seeing a lot more spear life <laughs> throwing out the signature really early on. And I like that. You know, if you're going to play this character, do what that character does, all right? There's too many good moves to not use them. Yeah, and it, it's a good mix-up too, right? Because, again, the, the, he did the end light into the down sig, and it was working really well against Loris. He was expecting the adaptation of, like, I'm going to jump out of it to not get caught. And, unfortunately, end sig just didn't land for Fiend, but he's back to his spear. Back to the spear. And nice air. Throwing out a sig with oh. punish with the gravity cancel down line. It's got range on it. Lores with the dodge down avoids the end sig. Oh, good spot dodge avoids the side sig. Ooh, Lores. Reset. Oh, oh, couldn't complete the combo. Still living. Ground pound bounces off the stage. Recovery. Yes. 
Good stuff from Fiend. Fiend, are you gonna offer the Gauntlet? Yes. Okay. Play some Gauntlet game. Expect the end light down so if he can land it. Lorez wants to just finish the stock off. Down light recovery and Nair might be enough with how damaged Fiend is. Down light recovery, there it is. And Lorez evens this one up. That was good stuff, good stuff. Now, so I have a question. Whenever you're at higher damage, does side light, down light uh, become true? Uh, no, I don't think so. It does, it's never true, right? No. Okay, so I feel like he could have dodged right there. Yeah. Just uh, maybe Fiend didn't opt for it or uh, wanted to hold it back a little bit. Maybe he just didn't have it and quite catch what his dodge cooldown was. But either way, Flores <laughs> <laughs> grooving with this bow right now. Push movement. Back to the spear. Oh, look, those side lights are controlling everything with the sh little short hops. This movement is so nice from again, Lawrence again. right now. He's hitting those side lights, even oh though he's not God. getting the three. Oh, oh. <laughs> the chase, the movement, like you said, the short hop that time leading into a recovery. Lawrence, I mean, he, he's doing such a good job getting that pressure with that bow. Man, that, that bow pressure was so good. That was ridiculous. Nice. Scooped and thrown into the heavens. <sighs> I still can't believe Michonne is in this game. <laughs> <laughs> I need to catch up on my uh, on my Walking Dead, man. I'm, I, I picked that show up again. I've been watching a lot of it, and uh, I'm still behind on this whole, like, second half of this new season. Yeah. But look at that. 570 damage on the bow, none on the, on the sword. Okay. <laughs> oh That's a bow main. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Got it. That uh, is wild. It was enough to force Fiend over to the Asuri for this game number four. This is where it gets intense for Fiend. He has to win this one if he wants to stay alive. Otherwise, Lorez is going to get the upset Three, and knock two, Fiend out one, of the tournament. <sighs> it's looking like that might happen, but the character swap, we're going to see if it's a whole different story written. All right. Ooh, went oh, for the oh. downlight. Not got the weapon yet. Finally, sword v. sword. I mean, even with all that, like, despite not picking up the weapon, he was getting that unarmed damage. He's getting the better of Fiend. Fiend gets in with the neutral air, but the damage is definitely in favor of Lorez. Lorez is on one. Oh, yes! The, the fact that Lorez knew to just stand there like that and then got the punish was clean. Weapon toss for weapon toss. Fiend over to the Katars. Yo, the backup for the end light. Still not enough to KO. Neutral light, not even enough to put him off screen. Oh. Fiend trying to get his wave god on. Got those guitars. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh. oh, man. I thought that, that that situation seemed like it was going to be a little bit more intense than it ended up <laughs> being. But either way, Fiend got the KO on the left side. It was like a series of fake outs. Lorez like, went in with the ground pound, but pulled out before he stacked up on Fiend and Fiend just like stood there and didn't opt to go for anything. It was just like a stressful situation, but either way, stock count gets evened up. Ooh, missed the recovery, gets punished. Actually, a ground pound could have been real dangerous right there. You saw the sweat beads. Oh, but didn't come out. Side light keeping Lorez on the corner. Down light doesn't connect. Oh, weapon toss actually bounced and still hit Lorez. So Fiend gonna keep that pressure going. Ooh, went for a, a neutral air uh -oh. instead of a down air. Oh, ground, ground pound early, oh, but turn around. ground pound right back at you. Oh. Made it back. Exhausted recovery to survive. Dodges through the end sig. That was a that was a dangerous, dangerous situation for both players. Able to make it out. Neutral air. Trying to find some more damage, okay. but Fiend looking for the KO here. Got maybe about a couple, two more hits. Nice. Survives it. Down Tig, Punish, Neutral Air, not gonna KO. Ooh, what's Down the answer? Oh, yes. Recovery, and Fiend gets that stock lead, needs the extra credit. Definitely gonna need some extra credit, because if Lorez gets in that mode that we've been seeing, the groove, there it is, quick cleanup. So no extra credit today, your grade will stay the same. Let's see if you can pass this semester. Weapon spawn, Fiend picks up the sword. Ooh, nice, I like it. Two end lights. Lorez with the response, that wake up down light. Getting more, got the juggles. Jumping around, the short hops coming out from Lorez, man. This movement is so clean. Oh, short whoa, hop whoa. straight into a combo. Yeah. Charged up, doesn't work out. 
Nice. Oh, man. Damage is nice. It's enough. Flores with the end sig takes it 3 1 over Fiend. That's an upset. That was definitely an upset. I mean, it's a 10 difference in PR, but it still matters at the end of the day. You're gonna move that PR up a little bit. And well, actually, I don't know if we're at the point where the PR moves up, is, are we? Uh, yeah, yeah, for we sure. Are. Yeah, we we are. Are. We're, we're we in are. the top eight of things. Yep, 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 yep. Definitely so, are. Lorez's PR is gonna be moving up on that one. Woo. Man, what a set, what Such a set. Even though it ended play. up 3-1, it was still really, really yeah. good. Still really, really good. And then we have, 45% accuracy coming out from Fiend in a loss. So, I mean, I mean, 